Uh, Ryan, uh, it, it appears that the Oilers can score enough goals to, uh, to win the hockey games, but is it as simplistic to say that you're just giving up way too many, especially uh, on the PK? Uh, well, I mean, obviously we gave up a few on the PK last night, and um, we got to limit that as much as possible. We uh, were a successful PK last year. We know we can get back to that, so we got to find that. It's, uh, special teams is... Uh, a finicky thing, so you got to uh, you got to find your rhythm um, and get confidence on it, both PK and PP. So um, yeah, we, we we really need to we need to bear down on the PK. Like I said, we know that we can be good on it. Um, unfortunately, they got a couple late that uh, killed us at the end. But uh, all in all, I mean, we still had a chance to tie it up late and um, just came a little bit short. Can you see uh, you know as a penalty killer? some differences this year in terms of killing the penalties uh, as opposed to last year. Last year, it looked like if a team bobbled the puck in your end and on the power play, you were on them in a heartbeat and the puck was down the other end of the ice. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's getting used to um, um, getting used to each other again out there on the PK. Uh, it's, it's definitely important being comfortable with each other, knowing what each other's going to do. And uh, like you said, I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, as a power play guy, um, playing against a PK that puts constant pressure on you, and uh, anytime you have the, your back to the play or um, the puck is bouncing a little bit, there's four guys kind of in your face. It's uh, it, it makes it tough. So we got to get back to that, and um, it's it's kind of a one guy goals. Uh, the other three have to be on top of things, and uh, uh, it can't just be one at a time. It's got to be everybody on, on the same page. Any more questions for Ryan? Paul Gazzola. Hey, Ryan. You've been with uh, Connor now all season, and you've been with Jesse for a few games. I'm just wondering, how is it different than playing with uh, Dry and Yamo? Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a different game. Um, Leon and Yamo uh, and myself, we, um, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, obviously with Leon, he protects pucks well, he draws a lot of bodies to him, and then uh, you just kind of got to get open and make plays from there. And Jesse and Connor, I mean, uh, two of their biggest attributes are, are their speed, so it's uh, it's a lot of making uh, plays on the go and um, trying to hit those guys when they're moving. And um, I think uh, we can get a little more sustained ozone time. Uh, I think that's something important for, for the whole team and uh, our line as well. So um, put pu more pucks on net, and then we got to come up with those. and. Um, and really use each other uh, in the O zone and make sure that uh, uh, we're fighting hard for those rebounds. And uh, you guys are breaking in the new gloves and pants. Uh, what are your early impressions on the new kit? It's definitely uh, it's definitely bright out there. It's uh, I thought they uh, I thought they look pretty sharp. Um, we'll see how it all comes together, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it takes uh, a couple minutes to get used to new pants and new gloves, so it shouldn't be an issue at all. Jim Matheson. Getting back to the, the the penalties, Ryan, does it seem like there's a new standard in the league that you barely touch a guy in the hands and you get a penalty? There was an awful lot of those the last couple of games where you know it seems like you're just trying to check a player and, and you barely touch the guy in the hands. Have you noticed that the, the referees seem to be almost like a mandate from the league recalling all this? Um, I think over the past few years it's kind of been like that. Um, Maybe start of the year. Uh, um, sometimes it's uh, it's a little tighter, but uh, yeah. I mean, on our end, we got to make sure that we keep uh, our sticks out of their hands, and uh, you can definitely use your stick and stick check as much as you want, and uh, and be hard on their sticks. But it's uh, obviously it's a fine line between uh, lifting the guy's stick and uh, getting into his hands. And uh, refs, like you said, refs are looking looking for that. So. Um, we got to be smart about it on the other end. Uh, I mean, we got uh, we definitely got a few calls last night. Um, so uh, eventually we found a way to, to put some in, which is, uh, is, is going to go a long way for our team. And one last question on, on Miko uh, Koskinen. He's played every game. Can you notice with the goalies getting tired? He's the only goalie in the league that's played every game. And, and some teams, have, of course, played fewer games than the Oilers. But can you tell? Does he look like the same goalie at the beginning of the year? Or is it? He looked like he's wearing on him a bit. I think uh, maybe the day after the game, he, he's a little, a little more tired. As uh, um, 
as we all are in this kind of schedule uh, that we're going through right now. But um, obviously playing every night, it, uh, it's going to wear on him a little bit as far as in-game performance. I think he's been great for us. Uh, I think he's been solid every every night and given us a chance to win. So um, I haven't felt like uh, the fatigue level has been a factor for him uh, in-game. Jack Michaels. Nuge, I apologize if someone's already asked this, but I, I'm just wondering in retrospect, you know, would, would it have been so much more preferable to somehow just, you know, play even for a couple minutes, play five on five, because I felt like you were building momentum at that point and, and the penalties seemed to reverse that. Is, is that how you kind of saw it as, as you thought back after the game? Yeah, I mean, going into this, uh, into the third period, um, I mean, we, we got an early power play goal to tie it up in the third, and then, um, I mean, we, we knew that we had to be careful and we had to be smart with our sticks, and unfortunately we took a few uh, in the third and they capitalized. Um, I know the first one was just uh, the pl play over, uh, puck over the glass, so it's an unfortunate call, but uh, an unfortunate play. But, I mean, uh, if, if that happens, we still got to find a way to kill it and uh, go from there. Um, we gave ourselves a chance. Uh, like I said, we just came up uh, a little bit short, so it, uh, it can be frustrating, but uh, um, all in all, we just got to stick with it. Uh, there's no time, especially this season, to kind of dwell on things. We got to push, uh, push again tomorrow. And again, sorry I'm late to the party. Any, I mean, anything to, to adjust on the PK from your standpoint? Because special teams tend to run in cycles, and it's not always a product of what you're doing or not doing. I just think that uh, um, as, a f as a full unit out there, we can just uh, uh, be a little more together. Everybody on the same page. Um, I said it before, um, one guy goes, everybody's got to be on the same page. They're all going. Um, obviously, uh, clears are important, uh, pressure up ice. Um, I don't think there's anything specific. Uh, we just need to clean it up and get back to where we know we can be.